What is up everyone? We are back in the studio to do a performance review of these bad boys, the KT3 Low. So before we start, I would just like to remind you guys that the raffle for the 1,000 subscribers is still up for grabs. So if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, please do click it. So without further ado, let's get on to the performance review of the KT3 Low. So I finally got a KT3 Low. This is the triple white championship colorway. I'm so happy I got the chance to grab this and test it. The KT3 Low uses an AWEB technology mesh upper, which at first I thought it was knit. I was kind of happy it was a mesh because the mesh upper of the shoe, I think makes the shoe more supportive than the KT3 High counterpart. The upper is kind of reflective. It's a nice accent that goes well with the gold touch. Another difference between the highs and the lows are on the toe box it has holes in it for better ventilation. For the inner it uses a one booty upper. The fit is really good. So on the lateral and medial side of the upper also has some ventilation holes that prevents your foot from overheating. The KT3 has an internal and external heel counter which is really very supportive. Your ankle is really locked down and the heel or Achilles pillow as you may call it also helps in the lockdown and comfort of the shoe. And these two gold accents are not just for show. This is an Otter Arc technology midfoot shank that gives you an extra bounce back when you're doing foot strikes. And what's the nice thing about this technology, it doesn't restrict your movements. As you can see here, you can move very well and the decoupling of the shoe really helps on that it's like the Jordan 28s as I remembered so for the midfoot and cushion Anta uses what they called Anta Eve cushioning which has two pods it is a dual density cushion that has pods in the heel and on the forefoot first time wearing it you can really feel the cushioning of the shoe and what's nice thing about it is it has great impact protection still not sacrificing the cord feel of the shoe. This shoe also has an A stable up technology on the lateral outrigger. It's really very good for your lateral movements. And as for the swings, it really helps you on the lockdown. And I really love shoes like this where the midfoot kind of hugs your foot down. This uses a fingerprint pattern outsole which has a really beastly traction from the first time that I've used it on a kind of moist floor. I was still gripping and I'm really shocked and surprised and happy about it that it performs this good. Seriously, Anta really did a good job on this shoe especially on the traction part. Would I recommend it to be used outdoor? The answer is no. Although the bruise is kind of deep, the rubber compound is kind of soft so I wouldn't advise it to be used outdoors. For the overall fit of the shoe, personally I went down half a size. I have a normal foot, so for wide footers, I would recommend true to size and you'll be good to go with it. Overall, would I recommend the shoe? The answer is hell yes. For the price point of this shoe at $100, it's like 5,000 pesos. And you can get additional discount on certain sites. Sadly, it's not really widely available here in the Philippines, but in the States, there's the Famuji site and other China site, also the Anta site. So if you get the chance to grab this pair, I suggest you get one and you'll never regret it. The support and lockdown of the shoe is awesome. Also the cushioning and the traction. But right now it's one of my favorite shoes. So I've been using this for my past couple of games, especially now that it's rainy season here in Manila. The courts are kind of moist and it's kind of slippery. Man, this is my go-to shoes right now. Do you have a pair of these? Let me know if you share the same feelings that I have for this shoe. And if you're planning to buy it, leave me your questions down below. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe button once again. This has been Marches. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. Oh,